Hi there and welcome to The Labyrinth. As we enter into 2024, it is always handy to get an insight on what we can expect over the next year. You will need to work out not only what your ruling number is, but also your personal year number. So your ruling number is based on your date of birth and your year of birth. Okay, so that is the, your day number, your month number and your year number. So ruling number, just reminding you. So for a person that's born on the 25th of March, 1985, we add the two plus five for the days to the three for the month. So there's two plus five plus three is 10. And then we add the one for 19, 10, 11, 20, 28, 35, um, and reduce it down to an eight by adding the three plus five. So that's the ruling number for this person is the 35 slash eight. A personal year is equal as outlined here to 25 2 plus 5 plus 3 5 3 8 10 it's a little bit late in the day for me plus 2 is 12 plus 2 is 14 plus 4 is 18 so then we reduce it down again 1 plus 8 equals a 9 so based on this example the ruling number is an 8 and they are in a personal year of 9 for 2024 next year they will be in a personal year of 1 I hope that makes sense to you. So for those people in a personal year of three, 2024 is a year where your intellect is going to thirst for knowledge. Um, so an expansion of the mind is the theme over the next 12 months. You may find um, that you're drawn to formal education or higher education, and um, I would expect that you'll start some kind of study. And this could be purely uh, looking at metaphysical interests as well. Whatever way you choose to focus your attention, memory is going to play an essential part of the development and expansion of your mind this year. And this is a benefit because this is a foundational aspect of self-esteem and self-confidence, which you can expect to grow as you proceed with these new ventures. The knowledge that you're going to develop is going to help you to bridge the gap between the conscious and the subconscious minds. So you're encouraged to make sure that you have um, a balance in your life that you know because it'd be easy to fall into that all all work and no play kind of thing but you've got to have a balance there and retain that over the course of the year so it's recommended that you create time for laughter and for happiness and to be in the company of bright and vibrant people who enjoy a good joke and a laugh um, last year you were re you were required to make lots of decisions so there was lots of choices and you learned how to be decisive which is really good so 2024 is not purely about reaping what you've sown um it's well certainly in regard to the benefits and consequences of those decisions and choices but 2024 is also about expanding your vision and looking a little further afield when you seek solutions to any of the challenges that might present in your life there may be some delays in you reaping the benefits that you've been seeking and a little bit of a waiting period across the the year but of course um, those benefits and outcomes will arise at the right time so as far as kicking off 2024, over the month of January, this is a time um, to express those ideas uh, and thoughts that were stimulated over the last 12 months and to put those ideas into action. So you've created a lot of um, thoughts there, if you like, you've been planning lots of stuff. And so now it's the time to take the first steps towards implementing those actions. Um, basically yeah january is a month of action don't procrastinate don't put off you know what you need to be doing you've been thinking about it long enough and you've been um working out all the pros and cons if you like so now january says kick on kick on take the first steps towards your manifestation okay so if you have a ruling number of three and you're in a personal year of three this is a year where you're going to need to learn to control some of those high levels of rationality um, to make sure that it doesn't swamp your feelings okay this might um how would i translate this okay it this might look like your normal process is you have a feeling and then you talk yourself out of it or you ignore your intuitive knowledge uh, because 
you talk yourself out of it it can't be true okay so this year you're going to need to try and control that and stop ignoring your feelings stop ignoring your intuition and start paying attention to it you're going to have time frames of experiencing even more heightened mental alertness than in the past and you'll need to channel this because this becomes nervous energy and when i say channel it you need to channel it and direct it into positive and constructive activities that will help to expand your mind and the way you think and also because if we've got anxiety and we get physical that helps to calm the mind enough to be able to open it to new understandings and to bring some inner peace to you and also when you can direct this energy it's going to assist you within your own relationships because being a real critical thinker and analyzing everything that people do that can be really exhausting for the people around you so basically get a grip on it putting it bluntly get a grip on this over rational over analytical aspect of yourself and just try and get a balance in there and direct it to healthy pursuits